Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Be A Peace Beauty and today we're gonna do just another makeup look. So, if you're up for it and trying, to, feeling a little bit, you know, out there on that, I thought we were gonna do a little bit like more autumn but also like glam makeup, right? So, don't mind my hair, I literally just washed it so it's doing weird things. Doesn't matter, let's just pin it back. I'm wearing this sweater, which is like a nice um, beige kind of sweater. And I feel like we're gonna use those types of colors for today. So in fact, here we have the Morphe Artistry Palette. And I'm gonna show you guys the colors that I'm gonna be using, which are these four. These four. I'm gonna tell you. Soon, I got in the zone, wild things, and addicted. So those are the main colors we're gonna be using for today. And let's see what comes out of it. First of all, guys, we're gonna start using um, a primer, which this is, sorry, <laughs> this is a little bit dirty, but I had it in my makeup bag. And it's Lancome Visionaire. So let's use that. Oh, wow, lovely. Less primer, pretty face this. So we're gonna start off by uh, doing our eyes. Since there's a lot of colors and dark colors, we're gonna fix our face later on if there's any fallout, but for now, we're gonna just do our eyes. We're gonna start with the color Wild Thing because it's more of a burgundy. Just dipping my brush into it. Look, there you go. That's a more burgundy color. So I'm gonna do that for the outer corner of my eye, which we're gonna blend later on. But for now, with very soft windmill motions, we're just gonna set that in the outer side of the eye. You see how it's being placed? We're gonna clean all or any messes that there could be or will be later on. So don't worry about that for now. Tap your brush, grab a little bit more product and make that more defined. Now that we have this put on, we're gonna move on to the next color and a different brush just to blend that out. Now I'm gonna grab a much more bigger brush. We're gonna grab the color in the zone and we're gonna dab, 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 just a little, see that? And we're gonna put that just on the top part of our eye. And that blends beautifully, if you can tell. Look how beautiful that is. And we're gonna do the same for the next. Right. Windmill motions and circle motions at the end. Just very lightly. Okay, that's blended beautifully. Now, for the fun part, guys, we're gonna grab a very flat brush. We're gonna get a creamy concealer. We're gonna grab some and we're gonna carefully cut the crease. We're gonna move on to an angle brush, guys, as you can see here, and we're gonna dab into the color Addicted, which is a very brownish, purplish color, which I really love. Dip into that, there you go, color. And this is addicted. We're gonna just dab, 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 and create a more extended color. Kind of like an eyeliner. All right, guys, I'm gonna just grab this brush with no product. And I'm gonna blend that softly out. 
I'm actually going to grab just a bit of a ticket and I'm going to place it in the outside corner just to give it more depth. I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other eye. Grab a bit of product with an angle brush and do the same. We're gonna grab our Max Fix Plus, get that wet, and dab into the color Swoon, which is a beautiful, shimmery, golden Swoon. And we're gonna put it in the outside of our corner. Don't worry about getting it in the purple because we're gonna also fill that in later. See this one? It's a very nice shimmer color. Let's make this a shine, bruh. Once we have the color swoon in both eyes, shining like a goddess. But utilize the color French Kiss, which is an even lighter shiny colors very similar but still a little bit lighter than soon so we're gonna put that in the inside corner to do a blending effect once we have that guys we're gonna come back to our color i think that with an angle brush dip in that Right, and we're gonna, again, very lightly kinda emphasize the corner of our eye. Same with this. Bring that addicted down to our bottom lash. I'm grabbing another angle brush, but this is much more of a blending brush, as you can tell. I don't know, it's just much fluffier. And I'm once again gonna dip into that well thing, well thing, which was the first color we ever put. And we're gonna kind of blend that out. Right, great stuff. We're done with the eyeshadow and now we're gonna clean a little bit of this crazy mess. We're gonna clean that out, grab some micellar water or anything that you actually use to clean your face with or your makeup. And we're just gonna carefully kind of make a line under the brow bone so it gives it like that color so we can actually add highlighter too and it'll bring it off. So, this is what we have so far. Don't worry, it's gonna get better. We're gonna put some lashes on. Should we put some lashes? I mean, I feel like it's a very wow, pretty colors and stuff. We're not gonna do eyeliner because it would be like too much, I feel. But we are gonna put some lashes. Next step, we're gonna do our face. So I'm grabbing NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. It's gonna, ooh, lovely. Grab two squares there. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna use my beauty blender for this. Grab some, dot it all about. I feel like this um, foundation gets dry super quickly, so you gotta move real fast. No, you gotta move real fast, guys. <laughs> so. Okie dokie, let's buff that out. Da, 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 da. So very, um, I feel like 
wintry, but like a fun winter Christmas party look. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got that gold, we got that spice with the colors on top, and we also have like that darkness, so with purple and all that. So, once we're done, squishy, squishy. I'm just gonna move on to a setting powder and baking. Let's bake. Ooh, boy, I've got loads. We're gonna bake good today. <laughs> Look at that. Get your baking powder and place it under your eyes. Grab some more and keep baking. Bake till you have no more powder. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? I feel like I feel like I'm following a cooking channel. Oh my god. You can like speak and bake. We'll take all this off afterwards, guys. Remember, we're just placing this so our face can suck it in. I'm gonna keep baking in a minute. I'm gonna actually put my contour now, which is gonna be this Kat Von D. Um, Kat Von D. Okay. How's that, guys? They look good. Right? With the leftovers, guys, I'm gonna... Very lightly. Gonna put that there. Just very lightly. I used to do things with, like, real, a lot of anger. No, not a lot of anger, but I used to do things like really strongly. And I realized that's not the case. The softer, the better. Now let's grab our baking powder and let's clean this up. Let's bake just right here. Again, any excess of powder we're gonna clean up later. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, amazing. Now that we're full of contour. Oh, I haven't contoured my nose. I actually never contour my nose, but why not? Let's try it. Let's grab a small, small little brush. And I actually have this really small little brush. I hope it's not too precise. So we're gonna grab the same contouring color, put it in a little brush. Ooh, that was a lot of access. What do you think? It is time, guys, to get yourself a fan little brush. And it's quite big, actually. It's not little at all. We're gonna blend that out. Blend that contour. I kind of like to do circle motions because I feel like that contour just stays 
so neatly you can tell and i don't want it to be like too crazy like you know i don't want it to be too defined i want it to be kind of blended out and natural okay little small circle motions and straight motions to bring it down a bit that's why i left it kind of like at the middle so i could bring it down okay once we have that let's soften it up by doing circle motions circle okay amazing guys so beautiful right and now we're gonna take off this caking because honestly i cannot deal i cannot deal like looking at myself for that long with all this white craziness i mean i'm using the same brush but honestly i don't think it matters that much i know a lot of people are gonna be like yes it does well you know each to their own honey i hope you're liking this tutorial so far if you're new to this channel please like and subscribe if you want to get more looks like this or just any crazy ass look because then again i can do anything at any time so now that we're cleaned up beautiful right i love it all right guys getting the same brush just Clean it a little bit with something. I have a paper next to me and I just can't be that serious with it, guys. You know what I mean? Fuck no. Right, grab a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Dark Treasure by Kiko. I just love this one. It just smells so nice and it's really soft and subtle. So I feel like it comes out really nicely. So I'm just dabbing that with a very small little circle motions and I'm bringing that up to my forehead because I want it to unify it you see it's already unifying and we're doing the same with the other one very small and simple circle motions we want to bring it to not the front but just like the sides so it kind of unifies and it brings it all, all together. Remember your ears. We don't want to be looking like three colors. I'm going to grab this very much crushed <laughs> blush. If you can see, if you can see some very it's a peachy color, but it's also more of a pinkish, like a salmon color. That's it. It's a salmon color. So let's get our cheeks out. Just dabbing it in the apples of my cheeks. Carefully and subtly. No, subtly. <laughs> Just carefully. And bringing that color out just bring in a little bit of color to our cheeks right guys moving on to eyebrows we have the NYX Fall and Fluff I love this sheet I just I actually like this product because I don't know it just has like a teardrop tip you see I don't know it feels good <laughs> it doesn't feel good it's just like i feel like it's good for like with the little small tip to like draw your eyebrows and then i feel like the fat tip is good to blend so i'm gonna shut up now
What a weekend. Satin eyebrow on fleek. You guys do that. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. We're gonna use a very small winded brush for this highlighter today. And since we have all that going on, we're gonna go for a more golden and brown. That was a total fail. So let's squirt that with the Max Fix Plus. That's bomb diggity mark, Max Fix Plus. I haven't really tried any other setting sprays apart, apart from the limited edition I did, but it's always Max Fix Plus, I love it. This is, ooh, now it's blinding. Love it. With all that, I'm grabbing a very stiff angle brush, grabbing a little bit of highlighter of the gold one, and I'm just gonna set it right under my brow bone just to make that glow same for the other one radio guys we're not i decided last minute we're not gonna put eyelashes on because i don't have like i've got either two extreme eyelashes or two freaking long <laughs> So honestly, I don't want to do that. If you guys want, you're more than welcome to put those lashes on if you got some lily lashes. Let's go and curl our lashes. Get a spoolie brush. Once we have those lashes curled, brush them out. So once we do that with the once we put the mascara on, they're all nice and separated. And we're gonna move on to mascara. Put them well. Same for the other. So, started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> and then I go from the top, so. I'm gonna do exactly the same for the other eye. What do you guys think? It's coming together. And last but not least, let's go with our leaves. Now, since we have a very crazy mix in our eyes, honestly, a lot of things could match this look. We're gonna go with purple because I feel like it, it goes with the liner. Yes, I like this. All right then. Let this dry. Last step, last but not least, our beautiful and trustworthy Max Fix Plus. We're gonna do this. <laughs> so guys, and now that we have the final and completed look and we used Max Fix Plus to set all this in place, we're gonna move on to getting ready. So, give me one second and I'll show you the finished look. Right guys, so thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope it inspired you to create something more colorful, but still, you know, dark and nice. Like, look, we got like the purplish, lips that match the eyeliner let's say the color addicted of the morphe palette and then we have you know all those colors blended out with a mm, little like faded golden you know i feel like it's very cute maybe a little dramatic you can even dramatize it more with maybe nice lashes or just maybe bringing it down with the color nude if you put the lashes on if you like you know you you need to balance that out <laughs> also i put this lovely sweater as i showed you guys before in a color beige i love it and this fluffy look how it moves this fluffy um little jacket to go over it i feel this 
It could work either for Christmas parties for your work. It could actually work for just like a family dinner. It depends how you match it with your clothes. So either way, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. Give it a thumbs up if you like this <laughs> or this type of videos. I love you guys so much. See you in the next one.